Hey, man. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, we got some more 2K23 news, man, about the builds, how the gameplay is going to be from someone who went out there and played the game, man. The meta builds you should first be making, okay? We, we're gonna go over that. And some other 2K23 news. So make sure y'all like up the vid, man. Helps out the vid a lot. So make sure you subscribe if you're new. Turn on them notices. So Young Shakedown has another video describing what the meta builds are gonna be because he played the game. And I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts about it, man. As my suggestion for the first build you should strongly consider making for NBA 2K23. Uh -huh. Now, usually uh -huh. when 2K drops, we never oh, really God. know what the meta is out the gate. I do. So when you make your first build, it's kind of a guess. You're kind of wondering. My first build always viable, man. If, you know, if this is going to be the meta, if this build's going to work. So I want to give you guys a solid, balanced build that'll guarantee you success no matter okay. what out the gate. Because oh, we don't God. know if 2K nerfed PGs and made it to where they can't speed boost left and right anymore. And maybe that's not. That sounds crazy, bro. You've always been able to do that in 2K. Even the earlier ones, man. Y'all think left, right is bad now? Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all have no idea. Not the meta? Like what if the steals and defense is as crazy as it was at the start of 2K22? Like what if 2K nerfed inside scoring and bigs can't just pump fake, pump fake 20 times in the paint and score at will. I'm not exactly sure, but after playing 2K23, a lot of the cheese okay. that I was used to seeing in 22 just wasn't there. Wasn't there. You playing play now, niggas, a bunch of bum niggas. So who who knows, man? We gonna see. We gonna see young shake. Y'all let me know if y'all think the same cheese that be in every 2K is uh, gonna be in this 23, man. Now some of you guys might be thinking, why would I recommend a Devin? Shout out to young shake though. Booker Bill. I'm doing my Brian Windhorst. Devin Booker. Why Wait, hold on, would hold on, I hold recommend? On. Why would I recommend a Devin Booker build? Hey man, um, I I'm, I am the one who coined this, by the way. You know, several years ago, anyone who's on the cover, bro, that build is usually extremely OP. Sometimes the best, or if not one of the best, man. So he's saying Devin Booker esque builds are going to be the way to go, especially for your first builds, the safe build type shit man and also you know he don't really touch on this in this vid but i think if you really trying to make a real safe build try to aim for a more mj like build since you know 23 you know <laughs> mj cover the legendary edition i know i know he the standard but i'm saying you know the mj you know you should really aim to make a six six you know them, them six sixes really might be the wave they might have a lot of juice then you know than than other type builds you know that sg position you you never know man just be on the lookout i'm doing my brian windhorse why would i recommend a devin booker build every year that 2k puts out the cover athlete uh -huh. that position that role uh -huh. ends up being overpowered uh -huh. 2k21 oh, on God. current gen we had damian lillard on the cover and you know the play shot, 6 3 play shots were unstoppable. Gen. In fact, they were yep. the number one build that was made on current gen 2K21. Uh, yep. And then we had Zion on the cover. Were they the number one? I don't know. Um, They were pretty damn broken, man. But they weren't the best. You know. What? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah for next gen and everyone knows that power forwards dominated the scene in 2k20 they always dominate the scene i ain't gonna hold you bro one in the city some of you guys remember 2k20 post scoring was insane and we had post scoring is insane every single year extremely broken i think probably the worst year for post scoring might be 22 next gen maybe Probably not. Probably not. All, all I, the only the only reason I, I I say this is because I mean not a lot of people play it, so I don't know. But I know Jay Savage. He has a 97 win percent. Y'all let me know if y'all know him, man. He has a 97 win percent. Me and him are like <laughs> battling for the best record on a uh, current gen. But he came to next gen and he didn't have that type of record so i mean maybe he just didn't make the right type of post score but that's 
all I had to go off. I I doubt. I mean, I doubt it, bro. But post scores are easily the best build every year. Ones and twos. The reason they're not the best for threes is because, you know, the the pick and roll is so OP that you have to double the guard to then, you know, you could just get a wide open dunk. So why would you need a post score when you can make a more inside center s build? But niggas run with poppers, so why 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 would you need to post score when you could just stand in the corner and shoot a three or pick and pop and have more opportunities for threes? That's the only reason they don't dominate the three v three court. Keep it a hundred, nigga. <laughs> Uh, keep it a hundred, nigga. Okay, like niggas, y'all, y'all, y'all be tripping. Had Anthony Davis. On they would dominate every single court if if certain things weren't as op in every single 2K. On the cover, and the list goes on and on. It's like 2K wants to give as many advantages in the form of attributes to that position, uh -huh. whoever's on the cover, as possible to make sure that that person uh -huh. feels like their build is unguardable. And this still all holds true after playing with Devin Booker in 2K23. I played with Devin Booker. I feel very confident in recommending this build to very you guys, confident. at least to start the year off. We're gonna make him 6'6". He made him 6'6", though. Devin Booker's 6'5", maybe 6'6", low-key. He don't really look 6'5". Um, he also made him a PG, so. Bro, on next gen, I'm pretty sure like there is no post stat i'm pretty sure it's tied to your three points so low key every build can post score so like you can make these like builds on next gen it's just people don't do it like but i'm pretty sure everyone can post score pretty fucking broken but uh yeah if you have like high shooting um maybe that'll be utilized in the future i'm gonna definitely start using different type of builds and you know try try to really do that you know for y'all entertainment type shit so y'all be on the lookout for next year we got some more leak news leak 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 we get a 6-6 six, six play shot lonzo ball was the best on ball defender in the demo that i played for 2k23 he was the best on ball defender my team heads are people that want to make a similar-esque build Lonzo Ball, by the way, is 6'6". Six, six. Leak, 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 leak. By the way, Michael Jordan, 6'6". Six, six. His arm length, his size, his lateral quickness was extremely disturbed. You know what's funny? Um, The best locks that, for some reason, they're always 6'6". Six, six. Like, they're the best locks throughout the years. The best locks have been 6'6 six, six for like most 2Ks. Um, Y'all be getting like turned, <laughs> to like listening to these other niggas trying to make lockdowns and shit, these little midgets and all types of shit. But in general, bro, like in 2K20, bro, my 6'6 six, six lockdown, I was dropping off so many legends and comp stage players in, in the stage, bro, destroying niggas. My 6'6 six, six lock could, could do everything. Guard ball, stop the center, get boards iso it was a god this was a demo that i played for 2k23 his arm length his size his lateral size. quickness was extremely disturbing against extremely guards disturbing. like steph curry and chris paul that is mm, he's locking up steph curry and chris paul it's just one of many badge loadouts i have for a very similar build you guys can just pause it take a look at some of the badges that I do y'all use the badge loadout feature? I don't. <laughs> it's cool though, but I, I don't use it at all. Bro, a lot of things that I talked about wanting from years ago, they literally added, bro. Like that, that it, it's kind of crazy. Like, like they listen sometimes, but it's like they be listening and they do it like years later, bro. Like so many different things I've said, especially when I was the only one saying it, then like, you know, community starts to copy type shit but like there's a lot of things bro and it's like bro if i'm helping you make your game give me some love nigga <laughs> like what the fuck like what the fuck but they they don't be listening to me with everything but it's like certain things bro it's like i don't know or maybe someone who's getting paid, you know, over there lurking, you know, watching content and shit. I don't know. Old pickpocket. 
We can even get chase down blocks with this build. Talk that's about true. The build we don't know system. what the NBA 2K23 My Player Builder looks like, mm -hmm. but we have to assume that it did change a little bit. So a little bit. Leak, 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 leak. Maybe it changed a little bit. And for y'all that be wanting role player type builds and builds that aren't two way stars, first off, that's not realistic. And uh, second off, bro, you're a consumer. I can understand content creator, content creators wanting more singular builds and builds that can't do everything and you know aren't two way type of stars. But y'all, you're the consumer. Do you understand if they make builds less? Oh, I'm not talking about broken demigods, but if they make builds less OP, more archetype, you know, more one way builds that you are left spending even more money to a scamming company. Do y'all know that? Back in 15, 16, niggas was making like one build or a couple. Now niggas is making like so many, so many for so many. There's so many. They made so much more money, like so much you know but i mean it's good for content so i mean i, I don't really care but i'm just letting y'all know you know i i, I thought that uh, y'all should know that man like in 15 i had one build all year bro. my 6 8 <laughs> i was iso and niggas i was fast as fuck as quick as the little pgs all that shit you know hey Y'all don't know who started using that quadruple quadruple archetype phrase, Young Swan. <laughs> builds. A lot of us make a lot of builds. Most of my friends have, I would say, closer to ten builds each. Oh, facts. I definitely have at least ten I'm builds, you know, five on each console. Uh, comment down below how many builds you guys have. So, you know, not to mention current gen as well. So there's a lot of opportunities to make builds. It's going to be the same way in 2K23. I think I have six builds, uh, both consoles combined, to be honest. Michael Jordan on the cover this year. So, you know, no, I definitely have six. Six five to six six play shots or six Look. six shooting guards. They're going to be elite this year. Saying six five six six gonna be a lead. You, you know you're gonna get a whole lot more attribute. You also could have spoke to the devs too about a lot of stuff. Look, look, look what you finna say. Look, six shooting guards, they're gonna be elite this year. You know you're gonna get a whole lot more attribute points. A whole lot more attribute points. I don't know if he just randomly said that or, or what. Can only imagine how well the mid range game is gonna be with the turnaround jump shots. The See, I I don't know why he just said this. Why why did he say? You're gonna get a whole lot more attribute points. Shooting guards, they're gonna be elite this year. You know, you're gonna get a whole lot more attribute points. I don't know why he said this. <laughs> leak, 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 leak. Can only imagine how well the mid range game is gonna be with the turnaround jump shots, the fades, dribble pull ups, things like that. So mm -hmm. when I'm He's saying uh, fades back, leak. <laughs> Mid range game. Leak. <laughs> Played 2K23. Devin Booker was going crazy from Devin everywhere. Crazy he could everywhere. score inside and out, ball inside handle. Out. A lot of his mid ranges were going in. A lot of his threes, too, especially when he got hot. It was pretty easy to just pull up. It was kind of like pulling up with a, with a taller Steph Curry. Pulling up with a taller Steph Curry. Mm, no point to make midgets. Mm -hmm. Leak, 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 leak. So this Maximilian dude, I don't know why he's popping. Y'all inform me down below. I guess he's some fighting nigga dude. But he says multiverse might have just became the most played fighting game in written recorded history. Without console numbers and several servers currently down, might be closer to 200K with all platforms. Guess this free to play thing really works, huh? Now here's what I said. Take notes, and they had multiple betas, too. Then I add these bitch ass niggas. Y'all need to do shit like this. stop finessing our pockets because you got no competition. And my my whole point with this is, bro, these niggas don't make the game free to play. At least make it free to get the game. That would increase the your user base by at least twenty five percent, if not more, bro. Like like overall, that's. Way more people, way more content. That's gonna help the YouTubers, the streamers, all that. It's a free to play game. Bro, why the fuck do niggas need to buy your game? Like, I ain't no poor nigga. Like, all, all this shit is a write off for me. I'm looking at it from 
the content perspective, bro. You know, getting more niggas on the game. Y'all niggas is too greedy, bro. Niggas love basketball. It's a universal sport. I don't even know how these multiverse niggas is really gonna make money. Like, their battle pass is kinda ass. They gotta fix this shit. I love this multiverse game. I definitely recommend y'all play that hoe. It's a it's a Smash Brothers copy on a hundred game speed. I really fuck with it. It's really, really fun, bro. Like I I I really like the game. Like, you know, I like I like the game. Like it's fun as fuck. But, um, yeah, bro, it's like, bro, nigga, what's the point in making niggas buy the game when they gonna have to spend so much on builds or a build? Like, y'all make it to where you basically have to spend money on the build, like, because it's, like, impossible to get it any other way. At least make it free. Like, all y'all niggas go on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, um, and just always tweet at these niggas when you get time or frustrated, whatever, under every post be toxic as fuck nigga you know mention these type of shits i don't i'm not one of these bitch ass dick sucking double twist gawking youtubers nigga we don't suck billion dollar dick my boy seriously like and make the builds cut in half bro if they made build costs in half vc you get like more vc for shit basically making the average consumer spend 50 percent less they might actually get even more business bro because people would be more enticed to make more builds bro you know you don't if you have your prices too high niggas ain't gonna like fuck with it some niggas might just make one and stick it out because they don't want to you know but it's like come on dog come on nigga and it's like well multiverse you're not building the fucking build you're going to go play with already made builds they need to make progression way easier here's another thing to where you bitch ass niggas who trying to stuff ads down our fucking face y'all niggas can make even more money if you fucking increase the progression to max out your build by like 400 percent nigga you would get fucking immaculate prices niggas would make more builds niggas don't go make more builds literally because it takes so long and it's so fucking annoying and stressful you feel me niggas want to play the game i know y'all probably do this so you could get lie about your hours like niggas are on and you could you know average time a person sees an ad or whatever nigga you find other ways but you making the consumers unhappy you bitch ass niggas you already got it in a chokehold bitch let me know if y'all agree man I'm, I'm gonna stop because because i could really rant about this shit for hours but uh anywho make sure y'all subscribe if you're new man we're gonna be covering all the 2k23 news leaks best builds best jump shots Best dribble move. And hilarious toxic gameplay, my boy. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.